Meow. Um, this must be an official cat entrance. All right, one small step at a time. must love chasing butterflies. This is my grandpa's friend, Slug. Where, where did the coin go? What do you mean, where did the coin go? I've hit it. No, you didn't. Of course I did. Hey, Slug, another round. No fish this time. I don't think you hit it. It must have been the poltergeist. That fish must have destroyed the remains of your brain. What was that? Believe me, poltergeist would stay away from this bar. <laughs> I heard two noises coming from two separate areas of space over there. One of them could have been an owl, but the other one sounded like a cackling. Shaft. It must be connected to the back room. No, it won't work. I need a better plan. Hooray! A shaft! I'm sure there are millions of reasons why shafts are better than doors. I will think shafts let air in. Shafts are cozy. And shafts... Shafts, they... They don't have handles. And they are soft. And furry. And have many legs. And... Uh, what was that? Oh, shafts are dark and scary. And they lead to... Rooms!
this ladder doesn't lead to another shaft. What is this place? Hello? Grandpa? Anyone here? Hey! Down here! Help! Down where? I can't see you. Turn on the light! How? Where are you? Um, I'm in the room with lots of handles. Great! Stay there. The emergency lights are set to go on automatically when you open the hatch. Can I turn on the light from here? No, no! Don't touch any of those handles! The system was carefully balanced to activate the emergency light when the hatch opens. What if someone was trying to open the hatch and accidentally turned a handle or two? Who would do such a thing? Um, I don't know. Maybe some girl that meant no harm at all and is really, really sorry. Try reaching for the projector. It has one of those buttons you enjoy pushing so much. This is beautiful. What is this place? Hey, I'm still down here. How did you get stuck like that? Stuck? I didn't get stuck. Someone was trying to kill me. This is horrible. Who would do such a thing? People. It's always one of their kind. First they walk all over me, then this. Not everyone is a bad person. I wish my grandfather was here. He always helps out everyone. He is so strong, he would pull you right out. What can I do to help? You are... much smaller than I expected. There must be something I can do. Can you reach for my foot and pull me up? Mm, I can try. <sighs> you are too heavy. Think of something. I don't know how much longer my arm will hold. I'm scared. Hang on. I will think of something. This will work as a rope. Give me your foot so I can tie a rope around it. Maybe if I attach this here... Oh, hang on! This looks much better. How are you feeling? Emotional. Oh, thank you. You saved me. I haven't had humans help me before. You're welcome. I am looking for my grandpa. He is really tall and strong, and, and he has a big bag and a coat big enough to use as a tent. How I wish I could help. I haven't seen anyone like him today. Oh. Hey, don't get upset. 
if your grandpa's as big as you say he is, he won't need to step on me to cross the floodgate. He'll just step over this pit. You think? Absolutely. This is the only way into the water world. How do I get across? Cross me! This doesn't sound like the right thing to do. But, but it is the right thing. I am the bridge and it'll be my pleasure. Thank you for letting me through. Come by and visit any time. Any luck finding your grandpa? Not yet. Cheer up! You'll find him. I wonder what those things are. They look like fish swimming pools. Another crayon! Grandpa! This is ready! Where are you? Shh! Keep it down! Who, who is it? A turtle soup. You don't stop shouting. A soup? What is happening here? Swim closer. I want to see you. Um, alright. I am a great swimmer. I can swim without my water wings for a full two minutes. There should be a life for the sun. I will look. Don't go anywhere. This is even better than my water wings. further up I can't swim further I'll get This for me? This is so pretty, thank you! This must be an elevation mechanism. I'll have to get your swimming pools out of the way.
swim closer. I went to see you. Yes, yes. Come closer. Wow, you are so beautiful. I am Renny. What's your name? You can call me Mama. That is what my mother used to call me. Is your mommy up in the sky like mine? She must be. I can feel her watching over Campia. Does she ever speak to you? She never answers. But I talk to her anyway. How do you know if she listens? Every time I'm feeling down, something good comes out. It can be a thought, or an event, or a friend like you. you in here? The eye and his watchdogs did. They offered to take either my memories or my life. But no, if for me, it will end all the same. Turtle soup? Yes. I won't let that happen. I will break you out of this cage. I gotta get Mama out. I can't let some eye turn her into a soup. Can you give me a lift up there? Be careful. I am slippery. Wow, you are so... Nope. Give me a lift up there. Be careful. I am slippery.
We need to get out of here. Hold on. Are they still chasing us? The eye can't reach this deep. Our power sources still interfere with its global connection. What was that? In a way, they are still people. The eye promised them a carefree living under its patronage, but along with problems. It took away their rational thinking. We robots call the symbiosis the new kind. The new kind of what? The new kind of life. People who made a pact with the eye, Draco Slug's infected group, infused with bionic technology. As long as they are connected, they are nothing but pawns in the survival game. Robbie is almost human, but he is nothing like that thing. Both Robbie and the Eye are man-made, but Robbie was born to help develop knowledge. The Eye was meant to steal it. Robbie can't be related to that thing. It was evil. People couldn't make anything like that. Not even bad people. And like Robbie, the Eye was always a part of human nature. And when a single part outgrows its tighter balance, the whole falls into chaos. Are those things the reason why we can't go outside? Our civilization lives isolated under domes to prevent further contamination. But the eye is strong and it knows the way to our help. If it breaks through, we will have to leave the world. If it is as strong as you say it is, why were they waiting for so long to attack? The mother was bound to protect the dome. But I feel her connection grow weaker. I hope she can still look after us from above. Up from the sky? From the glass balcony. She's silent, but I can feel her presence. Then I will go and I will speak to her. If you find her... Yes? What is it? Don't mention my captivity. And tell her. Tell her that I love her. I can't go through with you on my back. You'll have to climb through the pipes. I will meet you on the other side. Please be careful. You made it. I was a little worried. This is as far as I can take you. Thank you, Mama. Are you going to be safe down here? Don't worry, Renny. They won't catch me again. This window will take you to the elevator. Climb on top of my head. I will lift you up. I am back, and I bring good news. Did you find Grandpa? Mm, not exactly, but I found my freedom. I'm no longer a toy. I'm an explorer. <laughs> oh, I'm really happy for you, Mr. Bunny. But what about Builder and my Grandpa? Oh, everything went perfect.
Uh, excuse me? Uh, yeah, down here. Hello? What? Good evening, Mr. Builder. I have an important message for you. Uh, it is from Rennie, Stefan's granddaughter. I was expecting you, little spy. Don't bother with your tricks. The message is safe with me. Uh, but... My lips are sealed. <laughs> uh, what to do, what to do? Uh, I can't return to Rennie empty-handed. Uh... It must be his power source. Maybe if I take it out, Builder will reboot in a better mood. You little furry spy. Want to loot my dead body? This carrier isn't going anywhere without me. I will protect it with my soul. Is Builder okay? Uh, a bit depressed, but what else would you expect from someone who's abandoned his body? Anyway, here he is. Where? Inside that thing. Uh, he uploaded his mind onto this carrier to secure the information. Oh, Grandpa's gonna be so mad. Huh? I must be on my way to explore this brave new world. But if you ever feel sad, call me, and I'll return to cheer you up. Good luck, Mr. Bunny. Be careful out there.
Can I get a palm reading? The future is silent. Looking for Mama's mom. You found her, child. How is my daughter? I haven't heard from her in years. She is doing good ish. She sends you her love. Looking for Mama's mom. You found her, child. How is my daughter? I haven't heard from her in years. Why won't you ask her yourself? I've made too many mistakes. I am no longer the mother that my children want to remember. Mama said that you are the only one who can help save our world. I I don't know how it works, but maybe you could give me a prophecy. Look at me, child. I am no longer a guardian of Capia. The eye made me into a laughingstock, a kid's toy. You want to know your future, little girl? In this world, you have none. How's that for you? Can't you do anything about it? Can you at least find my grandpa? He'll know what to do. Where did you lose him? I didn't lose him. He is the one who's gotten lost, and all I have from him is this thing, and it doesn't even work. The master key. And I hear someone else in there. It is Grandpa's friend, Builder. He wouldn't come out. Builder is guarding the carrier, but don't let the tune fall into the wrong hands. Manual authorization will reset control over the dome system. Who did this to you? When the eye entered Capia, this new kind tore away my hand and disconnected me from the network. Without my hand and connection, I'm useless. If you had a hand, what would you do? In hope of peace, I foolishly sided with the eye and canceled the evacuation. I will return to the original plan, which will destroy the power that the eye has over Capia. I can give you my hand if you promise to help. You would give up your right hand? My mom is up in the sky, but when I'm sad, Grandpa tells me that she holds me by the hand. It always makes me feel better. Maybe my mom will help you the way she's been helping me. My receiver is disconnected. Try again. It's no use, but I saw your grandfather in there. The two of you look alike. My grandpa? Where? In the church. I'm going in. Grandpa will know what to do. Listen, don't try to do everything yourself. Have your grandfather find my receiver, hook it up to the computer, and put the access key into the front panel of the organ. That goes right under the beating heart. Climb that cart and I will help you get inside, but you must be very careful. If you get caught, the eye will play the tune and Capio will lose its last hope. You found her child. A few steps are missing. A few 
few steps are missing. One small step for any, one giant leap for... Well, also for Rennie. Church, you took me through the sewage just to go around the corner? For your information, the other way was blocked. Well, for your information, your gun can free up some roads. Grandmother, come, join us. See what you did? Yes, dear, I'm here. Onyx followers are completely out of it. Keep quiet. I'll do the talking. What a pleasant surprise. Grandmother rarely invites friends over. Don't you, dear? Abby, I... Ah, ah, ah. Hold on now, my dear chatterbox. Let your little friend speak. Don't speak to your grandmother that way. Isn't he adorable? I am sorry, dear. You know how I get when you make me wait? Little friend, I'm at least three times your age. Don't judge a book by its cover, little Stefan. I'm sick of being insulted today. Wait, how do you know my name? Everyone knows you, Stefan. How is your granddaughter? Does she still want to be an engineer like her mummy was? You leave Rennie out of this. No can do. No one will feel left out under my watch. Little friend. Don't judge a... I am not here to chit-chat. I couldn't find the key. He must have hidden it somewhere. You what? Cover your ears. Where is my key? Why should I tell you? Why? He asks why, because it was mine all along. Because you set out to get me the message. The master key from the Institute of Science. But how do you know all this? How do I? I was the one who sent you there. You lie. Geneva received a transmission from the Institute. It was clearly their signal. Clearly their signal? The one message to stop the war. I can't believe you've really fallen for it. I... I didn't know that you knew it all along. Why didn't you tell me about your plan? I can't trust you with my plans, Grandmother. Let's face it. You are no longer the Drake you used to be. Oh, Abby... Mother said she saw Grandpa. Oh, I need to find him. It isn't time to clean. It looks like my... I need to... I need to find Grandpa! I need... I need to find Grandpa! Thank you. 
It's Grandpa. How can I grab his attention without getting caught? Rennie, she's up to something. I must buy her some time. Who are you talking to? What are you? I am the I, the eternally yearning essence of your kind. I am the desire and the solution. I am the information. What have you done to my grandson? I saved his life, dearest. I couldn't leave a poor, starving child alone on that mountain. I helped him grow, and now he is helping me live. Why do you want the key? The key holds a proper tune that makes the heart of Kapia beat. Look at this poor thing. A heart can't survive on its own. I will play the song and help it live. From what I see, you can only destroy it. Destruction is an imminent part of birth. Take this apple. It has to be broken for the seed to sprout. What I do for Capia is not destruction, but rejuvenation. Do you want to break Capia like that apple? Ah, only the dome. You will make great seedlings for the new kind in my world. This is insane. People can't survive on the outside. We're still under attack. The bombs will destroy us. See how weak you are? You can't win this. On the other hand, I can't win this war as easily as I've had it started. Don't you want your granddaughter to grow up in a world that is free? I will take care of Rennie myself. Would you now? Just like you took care of her mother? None of this would have happened if it wasn't for you. Don't blame me. I am what I am because of you humans, my founding fathers. At what cost? The key. I need to hear the tune from the Institute of Science. I will play it on this keyboard and it will all end. The war, the isolation, everything that makes you suffer. Don't do this. The eye will open the dome and enslave us just like he did in the East. We can still win this war. But we must gather our troops and fight back. It's too late, Granny. The Dome of the Institute has left you at the first sight of danger. They were always smarter than the rest of you. It can't be. Oh, it can. Your little friend knows, don't you? Yes, you do. Now tell me where my music is before I decide that this dome is nothing but useless. I listen to the tune, but... <laughs> I don't know anything about music. Very well. Go, make yourself useful and bring me a music expert. We'll wait. This is a gardener. I need a musician. This is a water maintenance worker. Bring me someone useful. I don't know if Grandpa saw me. I can't risk it again. So I better do everything on my own. It looks like Mother's res- I need to free up my hand. Maybe another one.
could use this handle. should be more careful with where I put this. This ball needs a holder! I shouldn't drop it too many times. No, it won't work. This should help Mother regain her connection.
the power is not on. I need a better plan. Nope. No! I am blind! Someone's let the birds loose! I need to put a message container under the beating heart. No! No electricity! It interferes with my signal! Almost there! Not so fast. Rennie, leave her alone. Finally, you're proving yourself useful. Now, let's hear that tune. Don't do it, Catherine. Play the tune, Grandmother. Isn't it what you always wanted? To stop the war between the East and the West? To make everyone happy? No, Abby. You think people want security under a watchful eye, but you are wrong. People want freedom, and having freedom comes with taking responsibility for your life choices. Don't make me laugh. Their whole existence, people have been willing to give up their freedoms for a chance of loosening the load of responsibility. People are lawless without a governor who can conceal their immoral actions under a strict rule. Look at their young. That girl was trying to steal the control. I need to think I... Stealing is bad. I wasn't going to steal. I don't need your power. I want to give the control to Mother because she loves robots and humans, and she will help, not govern. Mother is a coward, just like the mother of the Institute of Science. Your mother will run off at the first sight of danger. Catherine, please, look around you. The eye controls our last line of defense. This world is lost to us. No. We can't leave. We must stay and fight back. It is time for me to be a leader. I will take control of the Eye, and I will stop this war. <laughs> there is something inside! No, Abby. 
Abby. He's breathing. I broke eyes connection, but we must start the evacuation immediately. We can't leave without asking other citizens. Very well. I powered the alert system through my network, but one of you must deactivate the security lock. When you are done, I will arrange the voting procedure. Oh, oh, can I do it, please, Grandpa? You will have to do it, Rennie. I'll stay here and keep an eye on these two. The bionic intelligence, the eye, gave us a chance to surrender. Under his rule, we will start a new life on this planet. Our freedom of choice will pay ransom for our lives. Our other option is evacuation, which will end our life on Earth. Evacuation will uproot our civilization. It will deprive us of everything that was familiar and so dear to us. But our soul will remain untouched by eyes' dreamy slavery. At this time of distress, we must follow the popular vote. Each one of you must make a personal decision that will resolve our common fate. Expecting you. 
Identify yourselves. Are those space pirates? Oh, can we join them? Oh, please, Grandpa! We are representatives of the Dome Network. We stayed on your orbit to guide the remaining Dome to the main group. The eye has taken over, but there's still a chance for our civilization. We'll have a new start, and we'll build our society the right way on a new, remote planet. The journey will take 30 years. But it will give us time to bring up a new generation of kinder and more intelligent people. We will grow our technological strength to uproot that part of human nature which created the eye. Great. Another group of people who knows what's right for everyone. Can we join, please? These space pirates are going to hijack our whole planet. They will build a pirate lair with their own rules. Yar. It looks like we don't have much choice, Rennie. Ciao. <laughs>